new video I just uploaded about a few minutes ago. You might have seen it. I, I showed this connector block with the loop on it, and I had told you a little bit about it. Well, I'm just showing you another video so that you can get a uh, more about it in a, in a video that's actually dedicated to this. So, in the video you saw this, which is a looped up wire. So, in some cases you do, how do I show you, some people do it like for uh, a wire in a in one side and then loop it over and wire on another side. Let me get another block out. So you see you've got this block for instance. You put the wire there and say so you want to spread that loop over to there. So you do that. So you've got two wires making that shape. This is the wire. Well, some person, some clever person, I don't know who in the world done it, created these things so that you can jump like put it there and it can jump across the connector so if I bring back this one for instance like this so you can see that you can jump back across the um, across the edges instead of doing it with a wire like this and then you can also get them in this size you get a bag full of all the different connector sizes. Put back in there quite quickly because I don't like it. I like having things organised. Sometimes I have it organised, but not all the time. Anyway, so you get like a bag like this, which is another set of bag connectors. You can get forks on the bone. So you get all the forks. You can get a whole bag full of bits and pieces, which you've got the fork connectors forks, the connectors and the joiners which usually look like this, you put that in there like that, so you get that in there like that, so you get like a bag like this usually, or you can get a bag like this which is just connectors without the forks and without the, um, it's just with the forks, the forks like this, a bit longer, and you get them in a bag just so I'm sure you oop, inside of the bag with that. Oop, I'm out, where are you? It's just all out of it, isn't it, anyway? My bad. See, like, for instance, this one. Now, this is, um, not an ordinary connector, it's a push one, so you push one end, and it kind of opens up. You can push the ends, and it opens up like that. So, what I usually do, tend to do is I get one end of the wire twisted up to what I need to do and then I just open the thing or open the screw and push it in. So this is my old way, this is now my new way. So old versus new. So you can prefer to do it this way, some people might prefer to do it this way. So either way is up to you. Both ways work. And I showed that on a video just minutes ago. Um, so I will send a link to this one on where I got these fancy things from. If I didn't do it in the video, which I'd be sorry about. Um, so, yeah. So you now see me for me. I'm sorry about the best behind. I'm in the process of sorting it out. So, this is me. I'm David, the voice behind the screen. So, I just thought I'd show you a little video just to update you on the previous video why I use these things. In. If you've got comments, just leave them in the comment box and I will try to get back to you and try and work out ways of showing you. Sorry about the hair and... <laughs> anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful uh, day, if you're daytime now. Hope you have a wonderful night, if you're at night now. And if you're in between, then hope you have a wonderful day anyway. 
some people I kind of know watch these videos and that and uh, some people I don't it'd be nice to make new friends as I usually say friends make the world go round and anyway um, in a previous video I showed you um, an extension which I have now got back here hang on I re rewired the extension I showed in one of my previous videos I just gotta get it out of all my stuff so in a previous video you might have seen this cable this cable is connected to a um, plug-in socket now I took in the plug-in socket off it as you can see and I rewired the plug-in socket well rewired the socket I should say onto a different wire so you can see that that's where the other set wire was the Wilco switch waterproof switch for safety reasons which you never know when you need to power take the fan power off and then you've got this little box which is it's got these things inside which I don't understand how these things come loose but they do and I get rid of them I don't need them anymore so inside this box as you can see is the four ways like a three way plug and then you've got a trip switch and a tester so it's basically if I can get the sorry I wasn't prepared for this video I just thought I'd do a quick video when I had a chance so people are used to seeing this type of plug with the oops, with the tester and reset button on it if I do it this way maybe yeah you've got the reset button at the top and the tester at the bottom and you've got the three way plug and some people are used to have a two way plug I suppose but I'm UK so this is a three way plug so I ordered on Amazon and if I remember I do a link to this one as well a three point plug like this a uh, socket I should say three point socket two way so three, two three way sockets and then inside there you've got the reset and the tester bu buttons and then I've got the like the safety switch on the outside just in case I needed a safety switch you never know when camping or something you need a safety switch oops sorry I didn't mean to cover the camera so that's my little video a bit about me a bit about videos I've changed and things I've been doing I'm sorry I've been still on videos I'm going through a lot recently some of the people watching this video know what I'm going through and some of the people in this video videos on YouTube don't know but that's the best thing about it so I will try and send if I if I remember to, tomorrow. If I remember in, in the next few days, I'll try and show you and send a link to this kind of bag or these type of bags of of the uh, four way connect the four connectors. I'm not very. I'm dyslexic, so my wordings are kind of stirred, which is kind of annoying. So. that's that set, set up um i got this set oh, it's gonna make it nice i got this set from amazon as well which is handy the screwdriver this inside it the screwdriver inside i put there myself so don't worry about that i put that in there um so yeah kind of awkwardly anyway um so yeah, that's a bit about me. I fumble around and my head's just not with it at all. So I hope you enjoy the next few days and hope you all have a wonderful night or a wonderful day depending on what time zones you are in. And hope you have a great time.
thanks for watching. I hope you like and sub subscribe. And yeah, I'm not one for face reveals very often, so I will do a face review maybe once, twice. I might do another one soon, depending on how I feel, but it, it will be a rare occasion. I probably might do it every couple of days, depending on how I feel. If I do another video and it's just my hands, you'll know it's me because it's my watch, my hands, and my voice. So, I will try my best to get my videos up and running better, but at the moment I'm going through quite a bit, and uh, I'm struggling with things. But I will get videos up there and out as fast as I can. And I hope you're all having a great time. I hope you're all having a, a smashing time out there, wherever you are in the world. The people who know me, I will always be around. If you need me, just leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you. If you know how to contact me, you can contact me offline. Depends on how you want. I I tend to just try my hardest to be around for people. If you've got comments, if you want questions answered, I will try my best. And if I can't answer them, I'll find a way of getting the information out. So, this little video was just about me. So that people can see what I look like and get to see me in general.